So the first thing to do is to remove this console. So let's start by uh, removing this first. You just need to uh, lift this um, cover from this area. You can use your hands or you can use a trimming tool like this one to facilitate the process. So let me try this first. go this is uh, one single piece make sure all pins are in place to pull this whole thing to the outside basically here yeah. okay so now this is the bottom section and the upper section which is the AC unit it's uh, just disconnect this plug here and the AC unit is out yeah there is another one down there let me turn on the light so now you can see it it's right there there are two bolts three uh, four bolts that need to be removed in order to remove the radio completely from there so let's do that now okay to remove the four bolts i'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket here let me okay, okay this is a, the six inches extension and this is required to remove the two bolts in the in the sides There you go. Okay, let's put some foam below the radio to protect the dash. Uh, so, why well, we can complete the setup. So, obviously the next step is to disconnect everything from the radio here. So this is the harness that came with my Tesla style radio. Uh, what I see is that, you know, I have here uh, camera inputs, but since I have the Anytime Backup camera system, um, the camera input is already hooked to the factory harness. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna just keep it as it is to see if it works. In the worst case scenario, what I'm gonna do is to disconnect uh, the, um, this video signal from the uh, front camera and I'm gonna connect it uh, probably uh, right right here in the harness that came with the radio but let's see if it works as expected before I modify anything so uh, in, in that way so maybe I don't have to do anything else so let's see so the first thing is to connect find what can be plugged just right away are all of these plugs are very unique uh, so if it fit that's the way to go here for example um, here I have another harness that should be placed right here probably let me see yes alrighty I got two uh, let me see what else fit right away right here and you looks like you go here all right my friends here is uh, the harness that came with my new radio the Tesla style radio and this is the one that's gonna be connected to the radio um, this has eight pins this one also has eight pins so let me see if it fits okay perfectly fit there this is the ac unit because remember that ac the ac unit this one 
uh, uh, it's gonna be removed because the radio already has all these controls there. So hopefully I work as expected. You know. It looks like it's gonna be here someplace maybe. Um, let me see. Oh, perfect. So for now, I think that I have everything that can be fit into the harness connected. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is to connect the radio and give it a try to see what happened. All right, here, here I have the new radio. It looks really great. It's awesome. It's pretty big. I I like the style, these buttons, everything. It's awesome for me. Okay, hopefully I hope I hope this really works because I really like it. So hopefully I would like to keep it. <laughs> So let me, this is the factory one, I'm gonna put this away, I'm gonna use the foam to protect this one until I finish the temporary connections and just to make sure it works as expected before I install everything back. Okay, so the first thing, let me put this away so you can see. In the video what I'm doing here okay this is the main harness I'm gonna connect it here okay it is connected already so here I have another plug which is a small connector uh, right here down below and this is this small plug should be connected there this is the AC the AC unit apparently must be connected right here in the bottom section here okay I'm a little bit far from the from there okay let me connect it alrighty done it is connected right now you see here where it is connected and I got the antenna, so I got the radio antenna connected. That's cool. And this is gonna be uh, for the CarPlay and the Android Auto. So this is a USB cable. This is an extension, a USB cable. Let me see all. Well, let me take a look at the other harness just to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, here are all the additional the harness that came with this radio. Here I have a camera input, so I don't think I'm gonna use this one because I have the Anytime Backup kit that already has a cable connected to the harness. But if that doesn't work, probably I will have to use the radio harness. Here I have two more USB adapters and also the microphone adapter. And also, I think that we can use uh, this to extend the memory it has. You can plug here a USB or an external drive so you can extend the memory for the unit. But that's something that I didn't uh, verify so far. So uh, th my priority for now is to make sure it works as expected and uh, that I can use the basic functionalities to control, for example, the AC unit, and the radio, see how it sounds, can connect to the Bluetooth and all that stuff. So for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna be worried about this. I'm gonna figure out that later. So here I have more cable. This is the uh, um, the GPS antenna. I'm gonna use this for now temporarily because I wanna use the truck antenna. But I have to uh, find out a converter um, for the radio plug and the harness uh, adapter. So that I will also find out later that. And here I have another harness this is a video input okay this is if you have a DVD or something like that you can you know display on um, the images and also the audio uh, in this unit but I'm not gonna waste this one for now the other thing I have here okay this is a uh, if you are gonna you in your intention is to use uh, an, an external amplifier you probably you're gonna use this one uh, you know to get uh, outputs to the amplifier audio amplifier but also i was thinking to add on the uh, some monitor uh headrest monitor so that what i see in this screen i will be able also to see in the headrest that i have but that's something that i also plan to do later it's gonna if you have kids for example maybe you can uh 
play a movie here and your kids can see it in the, in the rear side in the rear seats uh, so this is some cool stuff for later uh, this is a USB cable that came with this unit and this is for the as I mentioned before for the Android Auto and the stuff so the thing I think that I can use this converter um, to use the factory USB so what I'm gonna use I'm gonna just hook this up here and that's it so instead of have, having this cable around there I'm gonna use the factory uh, USB adapter down there um, you know if, if I want to use the Apple CarPlay or anything or the Android Auto I just hook up uh, the phone through USB cable to that one instead of using this extension uh, leaving it there around so this is a, so this is a nice I, I, this is nice I like it you know because I will be using the factory USB adapter so that's really nice this converter so let's see if it works okay now everything is connected to the unit um, at least all the harness that came with it so I'm gonna give it a try now if I try to turn it on it's not gonna turn on because the key is not in place at this moment so let me uh, set the key and wait for this unit to see what happened uh, it looks great I like the colors the backlight for these buttons a nice thing to have uh, let's see this is the first tiny boots probably gonna take a little bit as I did a test so let's see how it work nice so actually I started to see that an indicator here that the door is open which is true because my uh, the driver side door is open it's actually open which is a cool stuff that I didn't see when I did a test on my desk with this unit <laughs> so I probably be seeing other stuff okay so I don't know where to start because there are a lot of stuff here let's see how it sounds first okay so alright let me see if the reverse camera can be seen remember that I have uh, the anytime backup camera so hopefully let me put the reverse here Let's see. and no signal so that's a bad signal <laughs> uh, let me change the switch to see if that makes any effect nope okay so that's something that I have to uh, as I mentioned before uh, the anytime backup camera uh, harness came with a video signal embedded in that harness as, as you can see here this is the uh, uh, the video signal so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect from here and I'm gonna use one of these uh, connector that came with the, with the radio okay so that probably will uh, fit the issue that I already have with my reverse and front cameras okay the first issue that I have this, that is critical is that the Earth AC controls are not working for example I, I uh, let me turn on there sure. okay it is on right now so uh, if I try to turn on the unit the AC unit here I see a new window uh, but it does nothing when I, you know, so I try to speed up the fan. Let me turn on the light so I can also use these buttons. It does absolutely nothing. I can see that it's changed in the UI. I see the, the updates in the UI, which is, um, well, in this case, I cannot modify the temperature. As you can see here, there are some stuff that I can I can change, but there is no any effect on the AC unit. So um, 
I also I don't see I have heated seats I don't see the, uh, any controls for that to turn that on and off in the option that I have here let me display the screen again so I, I don't see anything related to the heated seats so uh, I saw on other versions of these uh, units that there is a way to modify that UI by going to the install set and uh, in this case I found that this is a password on other units and also works for this one and here is where you can customize that particularly for the unit so here you have different models uh, Toyota, Honda and so many others so for each one of, the, of these uh, brands there are a couple of options here so for me the best match is gonna be a Tundra high with seat heaters that's to be uh, the one that I need so now that I choose that one I see another window here um, it says protocol to be honest with you I don't know what that protocol does so I'm gonna keep the, the same setting um, since I, I have a 2018 Tundra I'm gonna change it and that's it so now at the bottom of the section there is an OK button here I'm gonna press it after you change it there you have to click the back button below so you go to the main screen again where you origini originally uh, opened the menu and this is uh, the setting there and now I'm gonna go down and there is another button that says save and reboot so let's click on that save and reboot button okay let me see hopefully now I should be able to see other options such as to turn the seat heaters on and off and the most important thing I hope that now I, I I will be able to turn the AC unit on and off and all that stuff let me see what happened now it's taking the same time it takes when I disconnect it to, from the battery so this is probably the same thing as I, as I, I a reboot okay let me see okay let me see uh, hopefully I hope this works but if not I'm gonna have a big problem let me click here or oh, out this the UI is now different I can see now um, uh, the heat the heater for the seats let me click again here Okay, now I can see the heater for the seats here. I see the AC um, for the seats. I got another dual option there. Now it should. It, now it is aligned to what I have, but now I don't know. If, let me see. It, yeah, now it is working. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Now um, I see. Oh, it's high. It's really hot. Come on, let's go. Let's change that back. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's go as low where as possible because it's too hot right here. <laughs> there you go. That's much better. And let me turn the AC compressor on. It is working now as expected. Let me turn the fan speed oh my god ah, now there now we are talking it is working perfectly now it is working awesome now we are talking I'm I'm pretty happy with this unit the AC is now working as expected uh, as, as after minor changes in the configuration which is totally acceptable um, house or lights are uh, working as a spectre also here yeah, let me see let me show you right here yeah uh, the dual climate control is working as expected the, um, the heaters on the seats are also working as expected uh, it looks nice 
I don't like the, you know these cars here. I would like to see a Thunder right there. I don't know if that can be changed, but I'll, I'll figure it out later if possible. So so far so good. I'm really happy with this unit. Um, now I have to check oh, the, how to integrate the Anytime Backup Camera System with this unit. So let's take a look at that. Okay, um, now everything is working as expected, the AC unit, but the reverse camera and the front camera that I have, I'm not able to see it on my screen. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, I didn't make any change. I have the Anytime Backup Camera System installed here. So, the only thing that I'm considering to change now is to use this harness that came with uh, this radio. Um, to see if I connect here the input for the cameras right here uh, I think that that will probably uh, fix the problem that I have so this is the um, the video input for all the cameras that I have uh, this is the rear camera here and back there there is another um, RCA cable for the front camera so this is basically the input for both of them so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect. This is the harness that came with the Anytime Backup Camera System. So I'm gonna uh, disconnect this from here. And I'm gonna add the harness that came with the radio. And I'm gonna connect it uh, just right here. And now I'm gonna check if that fixed the problem that I have that I'm not able to see the cameras. Okay, I'm gonna, let me put the switch in on mode. Let's wait for the radio to be on okay so now let me I'm gonna change this to reverse yes now I can see the camera that's great this is the reverse side of the camera and it is working perfectly so now I'm gonna use the switch let me see if you can see there let me okay let me move the camera here so you can see a better picture this is the um, the bottom the bottom that came with the anytime backup camera system um, it's supposed to work um, if for example I change this to the front camera view I should be able to see the front camera here so let me put here the front camera I don't set it and let me change to the rear camera and I don't see either so what if I put this in reverse and now I try to change to the front camera. Yeah, I see it now. Oh, um, okay. So that means that I will probably have to make some changes to the wiring setup uh, because I, I don't want to. <laughs> it's impossible, you know, change the truck to reverse to see the front camera. I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to see the front camera anytime. That's the purpose of the Anytime Backup System, Backup and Front Camera. So um, that's something that I have to figure out now. Okay, I think that I figured out how to make the Anytime Backup Camera System work with this unit. And what I found is that when, when you use the Anytime Backup Camera switch, which is here, this one, uh, in the factory radio, and uh, this has the, the harness that came with this kit has which is this one has as you can see here let me see if I can show you this harness has two cables the orange and the red one but the thing is that the orange uh, is missing here it's supposed to be um, you know a, an additional cable right here and that basically what it does it sends 12 volts to the factory radio so the factory radio knows uh, to switch the video to the video input mode. So in this case, when I turn on the uh, any of the cameras using that switch, the signal goes up to this cable, but it's not going into the radio because there is a missing harness, a missing cable here in this harness. And this is the harness that came with the 
Tesla style radio and this is the harness this one that came with the anytime backup camera system so basically what I'm gonna do unfortunately I don't have um, the pins that you, you can insert you know to add an extra cable here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tap this harness I'm gonna add a cable here so that I can connect a new cable all the way here to the camera uh, switch mode or camera or, or video input signal so well, when uh, as but I see so far when this uh, cable which is the orange cable is the uh, cable number 20 in this plug then the main connector when this has 12 volts what the radio does is to switch the to the video input mode so basically by doing that I, I will be simulating the same behavior when I uh, you know move the the this to the reverse I, I will be simulating that behavior so that I can uh, see the video input when I turn on the uh, you know when I use the anytime backup and can um, anytime backup camera system switch here so let's give it a try I hope that works All right, let's see if it works. Now it's time to see if I, if when I uh, switch, use the anytime backup camera system down here, um, it should, um, you know, change to the video mode. If what I said is correct, otherwise, I will have another problem. There. <laughs> All right, so it is in park mode. I'm gonna switch to the front view. Ah, uh, yeah, it works now as expected. Let me switch to the rear view. Perfect, pretty awesome. So now, when I switch to reverse, it also works. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to check if the uh, console buttons work. So I'm gonna uh, press the volume up to see what happened okay volume up it's working as expected we have volume down also works as expected I'm gonna hit the mode mode change also from different views I see the radio I see the playing view this is the camera or video view Bluetooth, okay, I'm fine with it, nothing special. So now that I have the basic stuff working as expected, I think that I'm ready to install this unit in my dash. So let's see what we need to do for that. Okay, it's very important to remember that these clips uh, didn't came with the unit and these cli clips, uh, I'm gonna, I removed the one, these two from the um, stock radio and also I'm gonna use from the AC unit, I'm gonna remove uh, the two of them. So this is where it should be placed. It is very important, you know, to keep the radio in place when you install it. So I think I'm gonna insert the other one in the other place here. So, okay, the way I'm gonna do this is by inserting this and then pushing the other side and that's it so 
now it's time to install the other one in the bottom section and the other one just right here okay there you go here is it okay now now as an an extra precaution what I'm gonna do is to add some tape to all exposed uh, terminals Okay, okay, there is here is an, um, a connector that I'm using and as you can see that you can see the pins there as an extra precaution what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add tape also to that one just to make sure it doesn't touch any metal inside or something like that and make a short Okay, now I'm ready to place the whole unit and install it in the dash here. Let me accommodate everything so everything fits nice there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some tape here just to make sure it doesn't get disconnected. And also, I'm gonna add the USB extensions that I got here, just in case I need this in the future. There you go. This is here. We have the USB extensions. I'm gonna insert through the right side uh, or the left side. Maybe it's gonna be better. I think. Mm. Let's do that. This is the where I place the USB harness all over the all over there over uh, that um, car harness there behind that in the top. And this is where it's accessible for now. I got it here. This is these are the USB. I'm gonna um, hide these two probably these in this area for now in the future if I need it I just uh, get it here and put whatever I want there I think I can also use a USB storage or something like that to extend the memory of this unit but that's something for the future okay also I'm gonna add the, G the GPS antenna which is this one temporarily um, later I plan to use the GPS antenna from the truck but for that I need a computer I think I will figure out that later so let's do this for now. Okay. And that's it. Show you where I place the GPS antenna temporarily. This is a GPS antenna cable. It go all the way back there. It is from this area here all the way behind the carpet and this over I inserted this way up to there so I had to remove nothing I just um, put the cable there and make some um, pressure push it down and I didn't remove anything also in the side I just inserted here and make some pressure and the cable is totally hidden it cannot be seen okay friends let's finish this let me Hold this radio here so that I accommodate everything back in place. All these harness. Now there are a lot of stuff here. So, okay. Let me try to do this the best way I can before I install the whole unit. Uh, be careful with the. Uh, Okay, okay, for example, this is what happens. And this is the the AC unit cable. And this is a terrible setup because it's it's over this harness. So the idea since this comes from the bottom section, 
is to have this free without any you know cable over it so let me unplug it make sure it is in the bottom section and there we you have more space you know to accommodate everything without over stretching any you know, of the harness and cables here so this is putting as close uh, as closer as possible so I have an opportunity to accumulate all the harness because there are a lot of them and also the can box okay. the can box alrighty and let's see if I can now install this thing here Okay. But it looks really, really nice. I love how it looks. I don't know, I feel that, let me see. It's a little bit tied to the top. Um, let me see. Okay, I think it, it is not getting a proper fit in the top, so... I just realized that there is another clip that needs to be added here. This is where it should be placed, and this is where it is actually. This is the factory radio, the JBL radio, and there is another pin here, plastic pin, that needs to be removed and installed just in the same place, but in the new unit. Let's do that. Okay, um, here is it. I just removed it from the factory radio. And gonna just insert in the new radio and that's it. So now let's put everything back together and we should be good to go. Okay, there and there you go. Now I heard all clicks and it's So this is now in place. Alrighty. Okay. Put this back in place. Okay. A little bit of pressure. And that's it, my friends. The Tesla Style Radio is finally installed. I'm really happy with it. I had to do a few modifications, including the frame, the stuff for the anytime I got camera, and also some minor configurations in the setup of the system to make the AC options compatible with what I have. Um, but so far, um, I'm good. I'm fine with it. I'm really happy with it. It looks really really great i think i can ask for more because uh, i was a, a good price so let's um, give it a try test this unit for a couple of weeks a month and after that i'll be doing another uh, video with my reviews and probably many many other options that i will be finding out on this unit so um i hope you like it uh, i encourage you if you want to do this install to do it by yourself I'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions that you have. Uh, all, all suggestions, uh, feedback, comments are more than welcome. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video.